Hello, welcome back to Retro Break. You might know if you saw the video that I posted on the community page on YouTube recently that I've just come back off holiday in Benidorm. I went there with my girlfriend and her family. We had a great time. Unfortunately, I didn't find any games while I was out there whatsoever. I was hoping to do some kind of pickups video, but there was literally nothing there at all. And I'm sure you've seen the title of this video so far. I did find something related to games, although it is very sad. I found an abandoned arcade. I'll show you where it is now on Google Maps if any of you actually want to go out there and rescue some of these poor arcade cabinets. So they were actually in the back of a place that looks like it's been turned into a mini golf course. It was really kind of weird and I wish I'd actually took video but all I took was photos. So I've put all the photos in this video and I'm going to show you a little bit about each of the arcade games and tell you a bit about them and I've actually managed to find some gameplay for them all as well so please enjoy. So here's the first of many sad scenes in this abandoned arcade and the first arcade that we see here is one called Speed Up which was developed by a company called Gionko I believe in 1996. It looks like a really good game I found some footage online so I'll play it over the top of this. It looks very much like a Ridge Racer style game but it's up to eight players and after every lap the car at the bottom of the pack gets eliminated so it does sound really fun and it's such a shame that I couldn't play that one. The other cabinet you can see at the back there on the left is called ATV Track and this one was also made by Gionko. Although it doesn't seem quite as exciting as Speed Up, this one seems very much like your typical arcade simulator style game. It does seem kind of cool though, the fact that you actually get to sit on a real ATV that bounces along as you play in the game. Once again, it's such a shame that I never got to give it a go. So this next arcade system here, I had no idea what this one was called. But I reached out to a few friends on Twitter. They managed to find out for me it's a game called Ultra Firepower Shooting. And it looks like it actually has three games in one. It includes Far Cry, Aliens and a modified version of House of the Dead 3. Which is quite bizarre. And actually in the hotel room where I was staying they actually had the Far Cry version of this cabinet without the other two games on it. So that was kind of interesting to see as well. Here's the one that I found at the arcade in the hotel. The other game that you can see back there is Cruising Exotica, which of course is a very famous racing game by Midway. A brilliant arcade game, and Nintendo actually made a really good home conversion on the N64 as well. I was actually very excited to see this one, and it was the reason that I went back there in the first place, because I was actually hoping that I'd get to have a go. And then on the other side of the room here, you can see there's an old internet cafe machine, and behind that there's a Sonic Blastman Real Puncher which is a really cool arcade machine by I think Taito and it's one of those kind of games where the punching bag comes up and you just have to go at it full force and see if you can defeat your opponent and I think this was one of the first games that actually came with a built-in camera to actually put your face into the game as well which is always fun I have played this, I think they had it at one of the arcade clubs but it's such a shame to see one in this kind of condition now we're in a different room and as you can see there's the very famous Manx TT Superbike game by Sega and of course by Tetsuya Mizuguchi which I've covered in a previous video which I'll put in the description but the game that really caught my attention here was one in the background of this photo behind that arcade machine called Duncan Alien which I've never heard of before and thankfully someone had done a video of it online so I managed to get that and it looks like a basic ticket style game where you have to throw balls and try and hit an alien inside the cabinet. But I just thought that was kind of interesting because I've never even heard of this one before. Now this next one here called Alpine Racer. This is actually one of my favourite arcade games. I always get really excited when I see this one. I just think it's a really interesting game because of the way you control it. You put your feet in two slots on the bottom of the system and you actually lean side to side to control the skis. The game itself may not be the most exciting thing in the world, but it does play really well in the arcade, as you can see from this gameplay here. I think they've also actually released a sequel to Alpine Racer quite recently. I remember seeing some video of it a few years ago, so I'll try and find some of that and put it over the top as well. I'd love to see one in person one day. See them right there, Rock? And your gates are yellow. Got it. Now this next machine here is yet another one that I'd never heard of before called Sega Strike Fighter. 
It looks like a really cool flying simulation game by Sega. Never really seen anything like this. It seems a lot more realistic than a lot of their games at the time. It looks really cool. I found this really nice video online that shows you the, the cabinet in a lot of detail. So definitely go and check in the description to watch the full video for this one. Really is a shame that I couldn't play it. Now here I found two slightly more modern arcade games. The first one is Silent Hill the Arcade, which is one that I've never played before but I did know about this one. It looks like it's based off Silent Hill 2 from what I can tell, and I think this would be really fun because Silent Hill games are usually quite slow, so to play a light gun version of that story would be really cool. I don't know if it ever got released on consoles or not. Let me know in the comments if you do know if it came out on consoles. It looks like it was from the original Xbox, PS2 kind of era, so maybe it came out on that. And the other game here is Virtua Cop 3. I used to love the original Virtua Cop games on the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast and in the arcades obviously. Every single arcade that I used to go to had at least one version of Virtua Cop. So it was really cool to see this one. I've never actually played Virtua Cop 3 before. In fact I didn't even know there was a third one so I was very excited to see this one. Once again, it's just really sad that none of these were plugged in or playable. I really, really wish they were. This one here called The Ocean Hunter by Sega. This is another one that I didn't know existed. I've had a look online and found out that it was released in 1998. And I actually thought it was released a lot later by the looks of these graphics. They're really quite impressive. Of course, it's running on Sega's Naomi arcade hardware, which was kind of like a souped up version of the Dreamcast and you can really tell that it looks really good here. Sega really were at the top of their game in the late 90s. Okay, now for a really weird one. I had absolutely no idea what this one was. All I knew, it was from Taito. So I put it out there on Twitter, and some good friends of mine managed to tell me it's a game called YY Animal Land, or Exciting Animal Land, or Animal Land Junior, or another name, and they actually managed to find some flyers for it as well. So take a look at these over this video here. The game itself kind of looks like a whack-a-mole style game, um, maybe a bit like uh, WarioWare or Point Blank, that sort of thing. And I did find a video online and the only thing that I really noticed about it was how annoying the sound effects sound on it. Thank you so much for watching. I can't really say hope you enjoyed this episode because it was quite a sad episode but either way let me know down below in the comments what you thought tell me some of your favourite arcade games what are some of the best arcades you've ever been to and what are some of the worst as well that would be really interesting to hear so anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment, subscribe check out my Patreon, the link's in the description if you want to see these videos early and I'll see you next week for the next episode goodbye